and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to review the QQQs. This is the market ETF, and I thought I would go over today because it's very unusual the way that this chart has been trading. Why? Because we're, we're gapping down, but then we're not really doing anything with it. Like, for example, we gapped down here. This was the very first calendar day of the year, January 4th on Monday. Gap down, dropped, had a huge, massive rally into the close. And then gapped up the following day, which was yesterday, Tuesday. Remember, it's still like a holiday week. People are still getting, getting back at it. But we sold off on the gap. Held, held into the support, into the close. But then we gapped down this morning. You could say it was from news based on Korea or whatever. The fact is we still gapped down. We opened today at 107.43. It looks like we're hanging in no man's land, but we're not. Let's just. I mean, this is, this is crazy because we keep gapping down so much, but we're not selling off. But to be honest with you, I really think this level ends up holding. I mean, I guess we're going to wait and see. But we have to get some buying coming in. We got to get some follow through with the buying. We have to get the follow through with the buying and get up on over. What's the number? The number really we got to start aggressively getting through is 112. 112. Well, we got over, over 112-ish here. This area right in here. We really start to get a move on over this area. We'll continue higher and we'll get up on here and make another new high. This is not an all-time high. This is a high where we had last year at 115.75. When I did the letter, I said the market will have a definable trend for this calendar year in 2016. Unlike last year, it'll be easy to define. Last year was still bullish, but it was hard for people to figure out. And some people thought bullish, bearish, neutral. It really was bullish. Today, though, starting the year, it's you can't really say much. And we've only been open for three days. And we didn't even close yet today. But I'm telling you, it's squiggly. And I said in the letter that it would take time for this to play out, meaning the trend to be definable for this year. It's only three days into the year. I don't know how long this takes to trade out I, and, and actually flush out, but it will be quickly. It's going to take some time, but not a long time. What does that mean? A couple of days or a couple of weeks, not a couple of months. Okay. So the reality is the market is still strong. I did not think we'd follow through in this gap down today and I rated it and I didn't call it as a short and I actually rated the gap and I may start to rate all the gaps in the market actually going forward. I don't know. That's something I could do and then keep the sheets. But you know, definitely, definitely, definitely the market rallied today in the gap down immediately. And I'm telling you right now, we could have fallen. There wasn't, this was a news related gap. Okay. And we could have fallen and broke and we didn't. It actually looks like we're getting bought. So I have no idea where we closed today, but you could have bought the gap down in the market today. I didn't, but you could have. Look, this is a, this is a, this is a good move actually. We're up over a dollar here and it's only 11 o'clock. So I, I, I don't have to go back and look at this at 4 o'clock. Maybe I'll do another video then. Anyways, the market for today is definitely bullish. The overall trend is still bullish. We are only a few days into the calendar year of 2016. Let this all situate itself and play out. The bottom line is we are trying to still, still, still digest the anomaly day back from August. I know this sounds, you're like, wait a minute, Melissa, August? But honestly, this is not that much of a time from here. This day was an anomaly, and I've discussed it in many videos, but the fact is it was a once-in-a-lifetime occurrence here in this chart, and it was real, and the market's trying to still digest that move. That was only four months ago. That is not that long of a time. This is the overall market ETF. This is like four months is like nothing, okay? So we're still trying to digest it. And the big move we had after it, you know, we're, we're trying to digest all of this stuff, okay? We're just getting ourselves situated here, and that's how I call it. So relax, the market is still higher, and we're digesting the anomaly day. It was only the end of August. It may seem like a million years ago because it's winter now and that was summer, but it really wasn't in the life of a chart. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend, January 9th and 10th. If you want to sign up for the stock market class, it's January 13th, which is next Wednesday. And if you want to sign up for the stock swoosh stock pick letter for the year for targets for 15 stocks that I'm giving numbers for, uh, you can sign up for that as well. Email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com for more information. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.